Welcome to 3CI Training Videos. My name is Ron Shaw and I'm going to be your video instructor for this little short video on configuring an IPsec site-to-site -site VPN tunnel using a pre-shared key. Now, before we get started, we must, take, uh, we must understand a little bit about uh, IPsec security. As we're going through here, there's going to be five steps that we're going to have to use in order to configure a site-to-site -site, uh, VPN tunnel. First of all, here are the five steps. First, we're going to have to define what parameters will be used for the I ICA Phase 1 tunnel. This tunnel is also known as the ISA KMP tunnel. The second step will be to define what parameters will, parameters will be used for the ICA Phase 2 tunnel. Again, this is the IPSEC tunnel. Then we're going to create an access list to identify an interesting traffic. We'll create a crypto map and apply it to the appropriate interface and optionally which we will not be doing today is create an ACL to block non-interesting traffic. Now it's important that you understand that both phase one and phase two policies must match or have matching policies on each of the routers in order for it to be able to establish a tunnel between the two peers. Now let's take a look at our topology and see how we're going to be configuring it. As you can see here, our topology has two routers, router A and router B. They are connected by a serial link back to back on the 172.16.1.0 network with a 24 mass. Router A has the 192.168.1.0 Ethernet network and then the uh, router B has the 10.0.1.0. Now, our goal will be to secure traffic between the 192 network and the 10 network over this simulated untrusted network or the WAN cloud. Now, as traffic passes from the 192 through the router, it will get tunneled through the internet to router B and then back over into uh, the 10 network, and that way we can secure this traffic. Now, the test will be if we can successfully ping the 192.1.168.1.2 PC to the 10.0.1.2 PC and then after we do the ping we should see an establishing of a secure tunnel. So let's get started. First one we're going to do is we're going to start with router A or router 1 and in here we're going to configure our necessary parameters. First thing we're going to do is create our phase one policy. Now to conduct that we're going to have to be in the configuration mode and we're going to issue the command crypto ISA KMP and then we'll give it a policy and then we'll give it a number. We'll just say policy one. Now as you can see we are in a sub configuration mode. Now since we are using pre-shared uh, authentication we're going to tell it and define that type of authentication. So we'll say pre, keyword authentication, and then share. From here, we must define our uh, hash. Now, our hash will have two different types. I can either say MD5 or SHA. However, whichever one we use here, we must use the same one on router B. So we're going to use SHA as our uh, hash. Now, next thing we've got to define is our encryption, our encryption of our traffic. Now, as you can see here, we have three different methods that we can use. I can use DAS, triple DAS, or ASE. And then once we define ASE, we're going to have to define a key size. So, we're going to use ASE 100, uh, as you can see here, we'll have different options, key sizes. So we're going to use 128 uh, bits. The next thing we need to do is define our uh, DiFi Hellman group. And here we're going to define uh, several different options. We have one, two and five. These are just the, how we're going to exchange our keys. So we're going to define DiFi Hellman group two. Now by the way these are kind of like a middle range uh, settings. Uh, if I went with lower settings like a DES and then a DiFi Hellman one we're just talking about a, a little less secure um, strength in our security. So now we're going to define the lifetime of our key. In here we're going to define 86 thousand four hundred seconds. Now let's go ahead and type exit. From here we're going to set there and now we got to define our key. So I'm going to do crypto 
ISA key. Now this is going to be our per share key, so we want to make a good strong key. But for demonstration purposes, I'll just say Cisco, and then I'm going to define my peer who I'm going to be communicating with. If you remember, here is router A. The peer is going to be router B interface here. So 172.16.1.2 will be my peer address. So we'll go in here 172.16.1.2. In there. Now we'll type end. Now that gets our phase one. The next thing will be is going to be create our transform set. Now this is a uh, uh, going to be how we're going to establish our IPsec tunnel. So in here we'll go again. I'm going to go into uh, configuration mode and I'm going to define crypto again. Keyword crypto. And as you can see, we're going to do IPsec and I'm going to do transform transform set now we got to give it a name and I'm gonna say my set now by the way these are case sensitive and here we got to selected uh, options here of different levels of security as you can see I got various types of security now I can define up to uh, f three different crypto uh, transform sets but in here we're gonna do ESP uh, a ES and ESP.SHA. So we've got two in here. Now I'll type exit. Now the next thing I have to do this that completes our phase one. Now the next step I have to, or excuse me phase two. The next thing I have to do is define an access list. So I'm going to use a extended access list and I'm going to use access list 101 and we're going to tell it to define. We're going to say permit. Now this is going to say hey what interesting traffic is going to be encrypted. So we're going to give all the IP. Now, in here I'm going to define a network. So from here I'm going to say the 10 from here I'm going to define the source and destination. Well the source is going to be the 192 network so we'll go 192.168.1.0 and then we'll do a wildcard mask of 255 now we'll say destination traffic is going to be to 10.0.1.0 with a 0.0.255 let's see if we've got them in there and then we'll hit enter ah we got a little mistake here where does it say my access is? ah I spelled access list wrong. Not a problem. I'm gonna need an extra S in there. So we'll define that. Now, I've got to sit there and create again a uh, crypto map. Now this map's gonna what tie everything together. It's gonna set who our peer is. It's gonna tell it what address access list to match, and then we're gonna tell it what transform set to use. So the first thing we're gonna do is in here I'm gonna say crypto, and then I'm gonna say map. And now I'm going to let this go like this. I'm going to define my direction. Router underscore A. To router underscore B. So this way I know what direction my map is going. I'm going to give it a policy number of 10. And then I'll define it with IPsec dash ISAKMP. Now, this new crypto map now will be disabled until a peer and a valid access list has been configured. So it's telling me I got to set a peer. So I'll set my peer, which will be my destin M, which is going to be router B's IP address 172.1. Then I have to tell it match an access list, and this is going to be the Mac access list that we just created. See, these two numbers here will match. Now, I'll have to tell it to set it which transform set that I want to use. So, I'm remember our name up here, my set. So, it, again, this is case sensitive. We'll type in. Now, the last part of this will be here in a second. We're going to apply it to an interface. So, the next part, again, we'll go to our serial interface, int excuse me, config t, we'll go ints1 slash 0, our serial, oop, get that backwards, 
Now, from here, now remember that name we used in our crypto map? Well, that's the name we're going to have to use right here. So what I'll do is I'll just do a little quick copy and paste here so I get it right. So I'll say crypto map Oop. and then I'll just paste it in here. I, I'm kind of lazy sometimes. I, I don't type everything out. So there. Now we've got route, we got the first router done. Next thing it is, we need to go 